Come, come, come. Show me what you got. More of what you got. Here it is so hard. Cause me no let you when it comes to start slider. Like Cause me in fin used to be with you only. The way you touch me gang it in dramatically. Yeah. Me they call you daddy. Cause I'm gonna be a little bit of 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 a Mr. Zack, the lecturer, I'm sure you know about that, was attacked. So the school authority contacted me, asking if I know anything about the attack or the attackers. <laughs> and the funny thing is, there's a huge amount of reward involved in that case. So why are you telling me this? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you something, yeah. I lied. I lied. I lied to the school authority because I believe and we think guy is supposed to do for your fellow guy. You know, that's what real brothers are supposed to do for each other. Look, I still don't understand what this your story has to do with me. See, bro, it was you that attacked Mr. Zack. And the school authorities are still very much interested in that case. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I had nothing to do with that attack. Sky, <laughs> Sky. Let's see bomb day your head. Dude. If I see the Chris. It ain't worried, Chris. It do you. <laughs> and they talk, they talk. Eh? Don't forget to let me be by you. For this campus, I know I see they go. I know everything I see. Even if I they sleep, I they see they see they hear. Eh? This is me no no say you run that heat with some men why I know. And they come back, come play me the cassette. Eh? Oh yeah, I talk. Look, by you. That issue has been long buried. Yeah, I do you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. But thanks to people like myself, you know, I kept my mouth short. But you see, <laughs> I'm going to rat on you, man, if you don't give me what I want. Hot, hot. You rat on me. Yeah, I don't talk, I don't talk, I don't talk, I don't carry water for my talk. So how far? What do you want? <laughs> Good question. A night without rude and arrogant girl called Nancy. Look, but that girl is not that kind of girl now. Uh -uh. She's not greedy with you they ask for now. See, guy, why they do like this? This girl is your girl, so you know how she could take full of, I mean, she trusts you. You know how she could full of reason. All I need is for this girl to come to my house and forget the rest. Enough fit. Eh? Uh, Enough fit. You know fit. You know fit. Eh? Hey. Hey, no wala now, no wala. Be no way to help here. You have one week. Yeah. One week to bring that girl to my house. If you don't do that, you'll get arrested for robbery. <laughs> I know what that means. You'll be rusticated. So, bro, do your thing. You threaten me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not threatening you. I also give you lamba. Eh, I also give you lamba. Me, the nasty, the cool. You don't understand? Hot horse, pepe soup level. Uh huh. She you know. Martins was here, and you made me lie to him. Why weren't you taking his calls? Look, if this happens again, I'm going to tell him the truth. Relax now. Uh-uh. Why are you getting so worked up? Well, I told him you traveled to see your sick parents, but I am not going to cover up like this for you again. You see, I knew it. I knew things were going to get, get like this. Listen, you just have to back off and let Nancy face her problem. It's too late. He wants me to bring her to him. What? What does he want to do with her? He thinks she's one of the girls that I pay, so he wants to spend the night with her. D didn't you tell him she's not one of those girls? Of course I did. But he's too vindictive to believe me. But really, do you think he's going to rattle us out to the school authorities? I don't know. I don't know. But 
it's too much of a risk to call his bluff. Okay, um, see, okay, how about we just raise the 100,000 he asked for? That won't solve anything. So what are we going to do? Look, Cassie, I can't think right now, okay? In the meantime, you must not tell Nancy about this. She should know. No. Until I come, come up with a solution, you can't tell her anything. Okay. Flex, I'm really sorry about this, though. For what? Even for me, you wouldn't even have been involved in the Mr. Zach case. I did what I had to do. I'm sorry. She touch you to sing song. Yeah, oh, la, la. You be the man, but they always pull me up. And I can lie, you they always stand me up. Who was sent to me, my dream fulfiller. Ah. So, always come me how up. was your sleepover? It was memorable. Are you serious? Did you guys do it? Did you do what? You know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> Will you stop poking your nose into my uh, sex life? <gasps> What's the big deal? I don't want to talk about it. So please stop. Mind you. Here. Uh... Yeah. Hi. Martins. Hi. You two ladies know each other. Gina is in the same department as Nancy. Oh, I see. Gina, this is my boyfriend, Martins. Your boyfriend? Yes, her boyfriend. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, please excuse me. I have lectures. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Sorry. Do you know Gina? Very well. you remember that me that you was Gina. That was Gina. That was Gina. I love you like crazy. Even if you don't get Bugatti, I carry you go see mom see. Oh, I I'm loving the way that you What are you doing here, Cassie? You know why I'm here? I'm not a mind reader. But you, you cannot bring Flex down over an offense committed by a girl. You cannot just betray your friend like that. Flex dragged himself into all of this. He fought me because of a girl. So? I'm going to make both of them suffer for disrespecting me. So are you really going to report Flex to school authorities over Mr. Zach's case? I can do a lot with the reward money. Oh, I see. So, so it's about the money? No. I want to teach him a lesson too. That he cannot involve himself in stuff that doesn't concern him. But you, you know what is going to happen to Flex if you report him to the school authorities. Is it really that worth it? He keeps standing on my way. All the time. It's Nancy you have a problem with, right? How about you just leave Flex and I out of it and just take whatever you want to take from her? Fine. I'll leave Flex, but tell him not to come talking to me about that girl. I'll do whatever I want to that girl and he will not interfere. Deal. Thank you. Does the wound still hurt? A little bit. Okay. 
Um, I came to ask, what's the situation of things with that animal called by you? Has he contacted you again? No, no, not at all. I, I just want to know if it's been resolved. Uh, something like that. You didn't give him more money, did you? No, of course not. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> do you mind if I touch you? Huh? Why? Okay, what would you rather I do? Lick my face. <laughs> that is so funny. Gina, is it true you asked Martin's out? Yep, I did. You have no shame or self-esteem. I couldn't expect more from a girl that carries condom in her bag all over the place. Hey, is your brain paining you? Wait, let me ask you something. Does Martins know that Lawrence is the real deal? And that you're just using him to make your academic life very smooth and sweet? Does he know that? They both asked me out themselves. Oh, I see. So that makes you better than I. See, Gina, I know you need an intelligent guy to help you with your academics, but Martins is taken. So, search elsewhere. Okay. Noted. Can I have peace now? <laughs> How could you go and reach such an agreement with Bayou? We don't have a choice, okay? That's the best deal I could strike with him. Hey, God. Wait, so he's still going after her? Mm -hmm. But it's no longer our business. I told you what he plans to do to her, right? Yes, you did. Listen, we already tried our best. We, we tried to help. But we cannot let ourselves sink just because we're trying to save a drowning person. Oh, what the hell is this? And I already told Nancy that it has been resolved. Well, you tell her it hasn't been resolved. Let her do whatever she wants to do. If she wants to go to her parents, fine. If she wants to go to the school authorities, fine. It is just no longer our business. What's going on with you? I just want her to sort her problem herself. has been resolved, Flex. I lied. What? Look, he wanted you to come and spend a night with him. Over my dead body. <sighs> um, Nancy. What? I'm really sorry about this, all right? But all I can say to you now is you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Because Bayou will not stop until he gets what he wants. Mm -hmm. Gina, Gina, can you imagine? This guy harassed me sexually and I had to pay 50k for slapping him because of that. Now he's asking that I come sleep with him for forgiveness. See, Nancy, the thing is, Bayou takes a lot of marijuana. It must have affected his brain. Oh, wait, Gina, what, what, what do you think I should do? Because I'm, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm just fed up with this rubbish. You know what? Let's go and see my godmother. Hmm? Yes, now. She should be able to help. Well, if she can help me, that's it. Let's go. Like, I, I can't wait to just get over this nonsense. Hello? Hello? Hello, Cassandra, can you hear me? Cassandra, please, if you can 
hear me, come back home. How you can't just run away from home like that. Please. Text me the address of where you are. Let me come and see you. Throwing all these your tantrums, please. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gina. Yes. Can I help you? Uh -huh. Are we fighting? You told Uriel I asked you out. That was before I knew you were friends. And then even when you knew, you told her I was the girl. I didn't mean any harm. You see, you are very intelligent academically, but so dumb emotionally. Because I refuse to be your boyfriend? No. Because the girl you're in love with is in love with someone else and only using you for her academic convenience. What are you talking about? Do you see what I mean? You're so slow when it comes to the dating games. Anyway, I don't even blame you, real. After all, I was going to use it for the same thing. What? Someone else. Yes, and that uh, she's just using me for academic convenience. Well, she's changed since you wrote her mid-semester test and got nothing in exchange for the risk. Do you think Gina is saying the truth? I want to know now. Right? But I think you should actually try and find out more from her. Or maybe I should ask you yourself. You want to ask Uriel if she's in love with someone else mm -hmm. and using you? No. <laughs> Which planet did you fall from? What do you think the answer will be? is outside waiting for me in a cab. Where is he taking you? Out! And don't wait up, because I might not come back. Again? How about you just pack your bags and move in with him fully? I might just do that, because his apartment is way more conducive than this place. And he has a bedroom to himself. So, I will gladly see you later. Excuse me. the bed to myself. I can as well just do this. <sighs> so, <clears throat> I finally picked up my mom's call after a pretty long time. But I couldn't even talk to her. Come on, babe. You should talk to her. Give her a chance to end your forgiveness. It's hard, Flex. It's really hard. <sighs> I know. I know, babe. But you see, it doesn't change the fact that she's still your mother. Uh, anyway, I need to get going soon. It's getting late. No, don't go. Stay the night. Oh! Your friend! Yes. No, it's not conducive. Ooh, this one. 
is, is deep sleeper. He can sleep from now to tomorrow. Like I drop bomb on top of you. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. I want you by sleeping in my bed. So no, no. Stop. Your friend is Can right you here. <laughs> Cassandra, yeah, you're still here. No, um, I was just leaving. I was just. Good night, Flex. Good night. Good night, too. And please be careful with those bike riders. Sure. You be fool. You be fool. What do you make you wake up now? Why you don't die for your sleep? Uh, what did I do now? Can somebody wake up again? What, what did you do now? Who sent me to call the share room with you, sir? It's not a bit of 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 a Bayou is not an easy enemy to have. Most of his victims ended up leaving the campus before him. Well, I am not going to leave because I'm not a coward. I like your spirit. But it takes more than just words to fight Bayou. He said he wants her to come spend the night with him. Even if you're obliged to his request, he'll still come for you. Why know how to make him back off? It will require your commitment. I will do whatever it takes. <laughs> whatever it takes? Yes, whatever it takes. Impressive. Reckless. But that doesn't mean I didn't love you. Please. Please. Just Don't touch to make me. Here. That's why I came. Please, my darling, let me just make a yes! Just leave me alone! <laughs> well, I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. Big Bites, the snack shop. I'm not sure I can wait for you, but just give me a call when you're done with your lectures. I might just be around, who knows? Okay, bye. I love you too. Martins? How can? It's Lawrence. 
I'll be lying to Martins if I told him I love him. In a nutshell, you decided to start your dating experience by double dating. It's not like I planned it. It just happened. Just happened? You could have said no to either of them and be with one. They have different qualities. And I need both of them. That's the voice of greed. And see, we are not here to talk about my relationship life. Can we talk about yours? Well, some of us don't jump into accepting every offer that comes our way. We take our time. Mm. I thought you and Flex hit it off already. I mean, after much help he put into by your situation. We are friends. Mm. But he's first on my list when I'm ready for dating Mahala. <laughs> Nancy Mama. Eh? The freshest gangster. But you, I'm good. What's up? I'm okay. Yeah, I just want to take one or two, you know. Oh, like I guess. I thought I should just come say hi, oh, you know. Oh, thank you. Yeah, come here. So they give them now. Now so they give them. Uh-uh. Hot, hot. Take her, take her. Hi. 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 All right, later. <laughs> You can close your mouth now. Are you okay? You sounded distressed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. I had the most terrible dream. About? My mom. She came here and she was begging and trying to apologize. Okay. And I got angry and I pushed her and she hit her head and she died. What? That is not even the scary part. I started laughing at the fact that my mom had died. Okay. It was just a bad dream. Listen, I know I have made a lot of mistakes, but... I didn't know I'd become such a monster that would actually be happy that her mom died by my own hands. Come here. Come. It's just a bad dream. Okay, it's nothing serious. Right? Nancy Mama! <laughs> the youngest gangster! Like, seriously? Stop it. The guy is my friend now. How come? Why are you surprised? I thought I told you I solved the problem. Yes, you did. But I'm wondering, did you even pay him? That wouldn't have solved it. So, what did the magic? You ask too many questions. The most important thing is, it has been solved. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. Right. <sighs> Hello, babe. Are you through with lectures? Oh, okay. Wait for me outside. I'm coming, okay? Okay. I gotta go. My boo just called me. Should we be expecting you today or not? Uh, I don't know. I'll just give you a call. Later. Nancy Mama. What Youngest gangster. <laughs> What's up, Nancy? Um, are you okay, Cassandra? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine. How was school? Fine. Okay. I'm inside. Come in. Cheer up now. I'm not dream. Just left. Okay. Um, I hope you don't mind my prying, but what's up with you two? You are asking that because I, I thought you were just friends. 
Well, we're no longer just friends. We're more than that. We're dating. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. wow. Since when? Thing is, Flex and I have always liked each other, but we're done pretending now. Mm. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go back to you. You should. <clears throat> yes, can I help you? We need to talk, Gina. About what? There are some things you told me the last time that I need clarifications on. What makes you think I owe you any clarification? Look, I know you're hating me right now for, you know, turning you down and telling you real about it. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have. That was very childish of you. I'm deeply sorry. But the thing is, I've been confused since the last time you told me Uriel is using me. Uriel has a boyfriend that she goes over to his place to sleep all the time. That's a lie. <laughs> Listen, it's really not my business if you choose to believe me or not. Can you get me a proof of all these allegations? Is this one high? Why would I want to do that when you are useless to me? Okay, how about I make you a deal, okay? You give me a proof that Uriel is lying, as you claim, and I'll be willing to help you with your academic problems. <laughs> Martins, you better be careful the kind of deal you propose. Because if you do not keep to your own end of the deal, it will not be funny. I'm a man of my words. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she tells you to sing song. Oh. Yeah, oh, la, la. Hey, I just pulled this. I don't like it. You read it, man. Just it get something else to yeah, wear. Yeah. It was to me. Yeah. It wasn't to me. Mm. What are you doing? Did you get a tattoo? What are you talking about? I saw something inscribed on your back. Have you made breakfast? It's your turn to cook today. Come on, don't change the subject. What subject? Did you get a tattoo? What's going on? Nancy got a tattoo on her back. No way. Can I see, please? No, ah. it's not for public viewing. Excuse me. You know, I really like tattoos. I'm going to get one sometime in my life. <laughs> I'm wondering what Nancy's parents will do when they find out that she has a tattoo on her back. Please, what did she get? Butterfly or like a rose flower? It was, it was spelled Y O. Come in. Hey, boyfriend. You real? You still remember where I live? And what is that supposed to mean? Because you hardly pick my calls, and each time I visit, you're not in the house. I told you my mom was ill. I've been traveling back and forth to see her. For people still see you in school. What's the meaning of accusation? It's not an accusation. I just don't know what's going on. I made a time to come and see you today so we could have fun and be happy. But you're picking a fight, really? It's not like I want to fight. But I just don't understand why things are not the same with us anymore. Okay. I promise I'll try to see you often. I really like that. Okay. Before I get going, there is this uh, calculus economy assignment that they gave to us yesterday, and I would like you to help me stop them because I'll be submitting it tomorrow. Please, it's here. Are you sure it was a yellow logo you saw at her back? 
Well, I didn't see it. You all did. See, <laughs> I don't think um, Nancy has a mind to blend you. Mm. Have you asked yourself how she sorted out the Bayou case? Hmm. <laughs> you know, I asked her once and she said uh, that she doesn't want to talk about it. See, I'm very worried for that girl. Like, she has put herself in a lot of trouble. You know. Hey, see the job market, though. Go sleep. Better go and sleep. Can continue your study tomorrow. You were was here earlier. Finally, she has the time now. I thought so too. Until she brought some assignments, she needed me to help her solve. Wait. So she's been unavailable since the mid semester test that you helped her with were over. Now she wants you to help her with assignments. Can you imagine? <laughs> But girl, that girl must think you're a special breed of me. But I don't blame her since you keep acting like one. No, oh, wouldn't you be saying something like that? I'm going to pack this thing. I beg, I want to sleep. I'll continue with this one tomorrow. that tattoo on Nancy's back again? Not after I saw it this morning. I wish I could see it for myself. Why? Because it's, it's a logo of a very dangerous female court group on campus. They call themselves the YOLO sisters. But why would Nancy want to join a court group? Listen, I don't know if she's a member for sure, but I can confirm it if I see it. Hopefully she's not. Petal. Touching my back. Where? Uh, I felt someone's hand on my back. Girl, you're dreaming. I'm loving the way that you do your things. As you can see. Um, what's been going on with you? Nothing much. Anything new? Nope. Um, you know you can confide in me, right? No, I can't. Excuse me? When are you going to tell me you and Cassandra are dating? <laughs> dating? <laughs> Look, we're not dating. Mm. Okay, we have... An arrangement, an understanding. Are you trying to deny her right now? 
I don't know what Cassandra may have told you, okay? But I don't want to paint her bad here. But the truth is, I can't possibly have anything serious to do with a girl like Cassandra, knowing all I know about her past. Hmm. So she thinks you're dating, and you think it's an arrangement, oh, an understanding like you called it. Look, I did not call you here to discuss myself with Cassandra. Did you join the other sisters? What if I did? I won't judge you. I just need to know that you you understand that I'm not aware, you know, about what it entailed before you signed on. Don't worry about me, Flex. I'm good. Hmm? Have a great day. I win the year award for this school. Let's go. You give me that kukunga, dance you do 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 the kaida. Give me that kukunga, but if you don't like me, bye ya. Give me that kukunga, dance you do 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 the kaida. Bad boy, come come come. Show me what you got. You are you okay? Of course I'm fine. Why are you standing on my back like a loyal dog following its master? See, I'm not a dog. Then stop acting like one. You know what? You need to excuse me from the room. I need to get dressed. Since when do I have to excuse you from the room to get dressed? Since now that you don't respect my privacy. I'm not going anywhere. Mm. It's alright. Nancy! See, that's really alone. No, no. out of the bedroom. Just leave her. Leave her? I need to confirm that yellow tattoo on her back before I call her parents. There is nothing you can do if she has joined the yellow sisters. Didn't you hear me? I said I'm going to call her parents and report her. There is no need for that. Okay? The best you can do is try and convince her to denounce her membership first. I mean, that's gonna be hard, but you can try. Which won't be easy? Convincing her to denounce or denouncing? Both. Hello, Cassie. Hello. Is your home? Uh, yeah, I'll tell her you're here. Okay, thanks. Uh, hi. Hello, Martin. Nancy. Uh, quite some time. Yeah, I hardly meet Uriel when I come, so it's not usually encouraging to come. I understand. Who is it? Lawrence! Hi! Hi. <laughs> um, Hi. Martins, meet our friend Lawrence. Lawrence Martins. What's up, man? You good? Hello. Um, I'll let her know you're here. Okay. What's wrong with that Martin's guy safe? You can't even call me for coming to my place. Are you asking me? You should go and ask him. Lawrence is here to see you. Ouch. Cassie said Martins, not Lawrence. Martins and Lawrence are both in the living room waiting for you. <laughs> That's too expensive if it's a joke. Except it's not a joke. 
they going to do now? <laughs> I can't attend to both of them. Calm down. Just calm down, okay? Um, <clears throat> who do you mind not losing? Martins. Because um, it's Lawrence I truly love. All right. I'll get rid of Martins. Wait, wait, wait. That was the wrong answer. I need Martins for my academic life. I would say Lawrence. All right, I will get rid of Lawrence. Wait, wait. Um, it's not easy to find true love, right? I still need Lawrence. See, you don't have luxury of time. Before they start talking and telling each other too much. I need both of them. What? That's not your decision. <clears throat> Both of them. So what do we do now? Um, Lawrence, please come with me. There is something we want you to help us take a look at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Okay, just follow my lead. Hmm? Hi, babes. Hi. Okay, Nancy, I must confess, I'm pretty surprised that you're letting me in here. Considering the last time you practically kicked me out of the bedroom. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. So, I hear that you know one or two things about gadgets. Well, I try. Okay, please. Would you take a look at my laptop? It won't come on. Please. All right, bring it. <clears throat> Are you sure you charged the battery? Yes. You will. <clears throat> How about you go check what we're cooking mm -hmm. so it doesn't burn? And don't forget to turn off, I mean, open the doors okay. for the smoke to come out. Thank you. Yeah, I'll yes. just go with her. Okay, okay perfect. Chop, chop. Okay, babes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Yes, <laughs> the Hi, Martins. I was about leaving. Why? It was taking too long for you to come out. I was in the restroom when they told me you're here now. Mm -hmm. No one told me that. See, you need to watch your temper. You get angry over minor things these days. Who was the guy Nancy took into the bedroom? He... He's Cassandra's friend. Mm -hmm. She told me to bring him in to help her check her laptop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided to come now since you were not replying my text for two days now. I'm so sorry. I've been distracted by a lot of activities. Sorry. Um, you know what, Martins? You and I have some place to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, I'll just take my leave then. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, but really I'll come to you tomorrow, okay? Okay, I'll be expecting you. Okay. I have the ballest, sharpest friends on planet Earth. Give me a high five. I will keep it. <laughs> you almost got me. Tashi Tashi to sing song. Guys, you're the best. I hope you know what you're doing. Can we not make this an issue? It is an issue, you will. For how long do you think you can keep this up? So, my explanation meant nothing to you guys, right? Are you sleeping with the both of them? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. Mm. Look, you will have to choose one of them. Because I'm not going to cover up for you if this happens again. I know I said that before, 
but I mean it this time. For Nancy. Where from, please? Is she home? Yes, she is. Tell her godmother is here. Godmother? Is that your real name? You clearly like to ask too many questions. Um, you're... Godmother, you're here. Hmm. Yes, I am. Let's talk outside. I'm sorry I wasn't at the meeting. I was very tired after lectures. That excuse is not acceptable, Nancy. You can't be a member by words alone. Action speaks louder. It won't happen again. I vowed for your reliability to the association. You cannot let me down. I said it won't happen again. I'll be at the next meeting. Fine. We have an impromptu meeting for 8 p.m. at the Queen's Abroad. We need to help one of our members to resolve an issue. Okay, I'll be there. Be good. Nancy, hmm? who was that? A friend. And her name is Godmother. It's a nickname. What was it you both couldn't discuss inside here? See, free me, you real. Free fire! If it was me now, you and Cassandra will, will call community meeting and start judging me, Abby. There is nothing to judge about me, you real. <laughs> I hear you've joined Yolo Sister Court Group. I, I am going to call your parents and report you to them if you don't denounce. Are you done? Who do you think I'm joking, Abby? You will hear from your parents. What's up? You said you wanted to see me and it's urgent. Yes, I want to ask you a question. Okay. If um, someone is pregnant, do you know anything the person can do about the pregnancy? Of course I do. The person would have to register for Antonental after three months and then wait nine months for delivery. That's not what I'm talking about, Joe. So what are you asking? What if the person does not want it? Are you pregnant, Uriel? Yes. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, so is it Martins? Don't be ridiculous. I don't like Martins like that. I can't even let him kiss me, no talk of touching me. So who is responsible? It's Lawrence. He convinced me and you know I can't say no to him because I love him. Did I or did I not give you a condom? Did I they were going to sleep over at his place? You did. Oh, I didn't listen. That was stupid of me. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Continue. Okay. 
There you go. I saw this much. Uh, one second. Okay. <sighs> hey, Flex, what's up? Can we spend the weekend together? What do you have in mind? Um, I was thinking we can make that sleepover happen this weekend. Sleepover? Hmm. What about your roommate? Yeah, he's traveling home to see his parents. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> So you want to take advantage of his absence? Well, um, look, Cassie, I miss you. And I miss me too. Uh, okay, you know what? I will think about it and I will call you back. Okay? Alright, bye. Yeah, where are we? Um, Flex wants you to come sleep over. Yeah. Can I advise you about that guy? Mm hmm? You should make him define what exactly you two are doing. We're dating. That's what we're doing. Just double check to be sure you're not the only one in the relationship. Why did you say that? Just be sure, you know, both of you are on the same page. Uh, <clears throat> sure. So. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. There you go. So, why come to me with this problem? Why not Cassandra or Nancy? Because you're the only one that carries condom in her bag everywhere she goes. <laughs> that is because I do not want to be in this your situation. Are you going to help me? Have you had a proper pregnancy test? Not yet, but I feel the symptoms of pregnancy. Go get a test done first. What if it turns positive? Are you assuring me that there's a solution to this problem? There is no problem without a solution. Thank you. You're welcome. Tashi Tashi to sing song. Hey, Cassie. Uh, what's up? You said you're going to call me back as regards uh, coming to spend the weekend. Oh, yeah, that. Um, <clears throat> I won't be able to make it. Why not? It's, it's just not convenient for me right now. Okay. I hope you're not mad. <sighs> why, why should I be? Take care of yourself. Hi, hello. Yeah, what's up? Are you free for the weekend? We have an operation you'll be part of tomorrow. What operation? Some guy raped one of our members and we must teach him a lesson. How are we going to teach him a lesson? The type you will never forget. The plan is to beat him up and shoot him on his legs. Put him in a hospital bed for about for a couple of weeks, thereabouts, so he will learn what he has done. And I'm going to be part of that? Not really. Just for moral support, you're not going to be doing anything. Maybe the other sisters should just go ahead, since I won't be doing anything. You want to pull the trigger? I can tell them to give you the gun, so you shoot the guy yourself. No, no, that's not what I'm saying, no. I don't have to go with them, do I? This is not a negotiation, Nancy. You must go with them to learn how it is done. 
Is that clear? supposed to protect me from these men and you allowed them to take advantage of me instead I'm very sorry please everything has changed now hi Cassandra what is he doing here are you still sleeping with him after what he did to me Cassandra please let me escape you, you <laughs> Why are you not sleeping? What are you doing awake? I had a bad dream, so I just got up to get water. I have some personal stuff I was sponging about. You want to talk about it? No. If it's keeping you up, you should talk about it. Uh, I'll be fine. Thanks. Okay. Good night. Good night. I was hoping this would turn out negative. I knew it won't. What are we going to do now? Two options. Tablets or evacuation. Evacuation? Mm. Operation. Mm. Which do you prefer? What are the side effects of both? I really don't think it has any side effects. You don't think? This is my life we're talking about. Uh, what do you want me to say now? It's not like I've done it before. So how do you know that operation or tablet is going to be the solution to it? Because I know one or two persons that have done it. And because of how young the pregnancy is, a tablet should take care of it. I'm so scared. <laughs> very good. Next time you need to be very careful and use protection. So have you told Lawrence about it? Not yet. Well, he needs to know. And you need to make him pay for his mistake so that next time he would use his common sense.
Kasi. I thought you stopped drinking. I can't flex with another woman. I'm not surprised. Well, I am. I thought we were building something. You thought wrong. He doesn't think you two have a relationship. What you both have is an arrangement as far as it's concerned. He told you that? Yes, he did, to keep his chances open with me. I feel so stupid. No, 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 don't say that. He's the stupid one for taking your love for granted. Do this. No, don't do that. Let me, let me have this. Let me have this. Flex, how can he do this to me? You're going to be fine. Okay? Hey, baby. Mm. Hi, Gina. How you doing? Hi. So, uh, tell me, what was so urgent and important that you couldn't tell me over the phone? Okay. We have the situation. Um, you know how we've been doing it without protection. Doing what? Do you know now? Sex. Oh, okay. Uriel is pregnant and you are responsible. <laughs> is that true? Yes. I know we are not ready for parenthood, but uh, Gina knows how to solve the problem. Gina, thank you. Don't thank me yet. The process is going to cost her a lot of pain and cost you a lot of money. Fine, like um, like like how much? Fifteen thousand naira. That's no problem. Let's just go to the ATM. I'll give you the money. Um, hold on, Lawrence. Hold on. Um, I was going to say twenty-five thousand naira. Fine, let's just go. Um, Lawrence. Um, Lawrence. <laughs> Um, that doesn't include the process of her recovery. You know, if I'm to include the money for her tablets and provisions, it will cost like um, 35,000 naira. Well, that's still no problem. Go to the ATM, I'll give it to um, you. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's just make it a round figure. Say 50,000 naira. Gina! What? 50,000. Let's go. Whoa. Hey. Not too fast. Are you looking for someone? Is this a joke? You can start laughing if you find it funny. My friend won't call Cassandra for me. I don't think she wants to see you. Who be this one? Please, let him in. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, this cockroach, who be that one? I heard my baby talk to me. How are you? What do you want? No, uh -uh, no. Are you still angry at me? No. I'm just angry at myself for trusting you. I give Miss Nothing. Don't touch me. I give Miss Nothing to me. It was just for fun. Okay, so that's supposed to make me feel better? Cassie. You must understand that I have needs. And you are not there to meet them. I see. So then the next thing to do is to just jump to the next available girl. I'm sorry. I thought we had a relationship, Flex. But apparently, all this has just been an arrangement for you. What are you talking about? I was stupid. I was so foolish to have thought that a guy who pimped me out to different men would actually fall in love with me. But now, I know better. Because I don't talk to Don't. I don't want to hear it. Job, just no job. 
Take my lip pencil. What's this? Dead air what? What nonsense are you talking about? This nonsense is what I am talking about. So you started going through my bag without my permission, Abby. I was looking for my lip pencil. Real, how could you let this happen? Nothing happened. I'm not pregnant. So whose test result is that? It's my friends. A friend that bears your name? Wow. Am I the only Uriel on planet Earth? Stop lying, Uriel. Listen, the sooner you accept this, the better for everyone. The truth is, I am not pregnant. This is my friend's test results. And you guys should stop ganging up against me. Can I have my bag? Don't go through my bag next time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Who be that? Open jaw. Landlord. <laughs> hey, Mato Martinez. My guy don't show. <laughs> I do, but this guy. Who say guy don't good is come? I ah. look for us now. I do, they do fine. Huh? They do fine. Oh, but this guy also say guy don't make the better show. Ah, ah. Before uncle. <laughs> yeah. ah. I emptied the entire kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I almost carry gas bone myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this guy I miss you. I just been like three days. You sure say you miss me? Uh, you that was happy that you finally get chance for all your criminal activities. Will you shut up. <laughs> wait, wait. Are you sure we don't need a pastor to come and sanctify this place? Cause I can't imagine what must have happened here. Oh, oh this guy, Cassandra caught me with another baby. Uh -huh. She wasn't happy at all. Get it, para. She didn't know that you're a dog before. Basket mouth. The dog was go shopping and come up. No, no, but seriously, ah, she should know that that's the kind of guy you are. Look, it turns out that she fell in love with me. But mm. I was really nice to her out of pity. I'm not love. Uh, uh, Gina called me when I was home. She said she has finally gotten the proof concerning Uriel. Uh, so you should let her know that you're back and you like to see whatever she has. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is your bag. Carry this. Calm circle. down. Everything day. It be all this nonsense. They say market. It be this. I'm coming. Oh, Gina, hi, hi. Please, where's Uriel? She went out. To where? I don't know. She was so angry to say because we found out she's pregnant. Ah, how did you know she's pregnant? We found our pregnancy test results from three days ago. I wonder how she's going to explain herself to her parents. Her parents? <laughs> there will be no need for that, since she is no longer pregnant. What do you mean, she's no longer pregnant? She told me about it, and then I helped her take care of it. You knew? Of course I knew. <laughs> She didn't peek. Yeah, maybe she's busy though. She'll call you back. Okay. So what's the position of things with um, Cassandra and you? <sighs> well, um, I'm still trying to get her to forgive me and to understand that just because I slept with another girl doesn't mean I don't want to be with her. But why would you want to be with a girl like, like her? What do you mean, a girl like her? She's a wrong girl now. No. She's not that person anymore. She's changed now. Plus, the devil you know is better than the angel that you don't know. Whatever you say, man. <clears throat> Oh, I'll see you. 
see you tomorrow. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Hello, ladies. You went shopping? Yes. And Lauren's got a few. Is this the bribe you get for committing murder? What are you talking about? Because she got rid of the pregnancy doesn't mean we were wrong. Are we still on this pregnancy issue? I thought I told you that pregnancy test result wasn't mine. <laughs> it's my friend's test result. Stop lying, Urel. Gina was here and she told us everything. She confirmed to us that you were pregnant. What if I was? At least I'm not the one that joined the court group. Are you going to get defensive with me right now? Stop poking your nose in my private life. We are not related in any way. I'm going to tell your parents about this. You dare not. If not, your parents will find out that you're in one YOLO sister. Enough! Both of you. No one is telling anyone's parents anything. Okay? We will sort this out ourselves. See, what I want is both of you should stop judging me as if you're sense. And you, you're not, please. Hi. Hi. I tried calling you several yesterday. You didn't pick and you didn't return my call. Busy. Okay. Okay, so where is it? Where is what? Uh, what you said you have now, the proof that you really is cheating. Well, I lied. I don't have any proof. Ah uh ah. -uh. Are you kidding me? Nope. Sing song. Oh, you said she called it as she asked me. Yeah, she did. So why is she singing a new song now? I don't understand. No, don't worry. I'll find out what's going on from um, Cassandra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry yourself. We'll find out. that I got pregnant and you helped me get rid of it. Nancy, I did not tell Nancy anything. She knows already. She asked me and I denied it. You now the house blue mouth. You went to tell Abby. You better stop insulting me. You are even the one with a fish brain. Seriously, what were you thinking? Keeping a pregnancy test result in your bag. Are you serious? What were you planning on doing? Framing it and showing it to your children? Eh? I, I forgot to throw it away. But you, I didn't know your mouth was that loose. You know what? I am tired of your insults. All I did was help you out of a very bad situation. Uh, I never knew you had diarrhea in your mouth. It's what? yours. You didn't... How dare you? How dare you? Eh? Eh? Wait, you slapped me. No.
Catch you there, Chuck. <laughs>
everyone back home. They're all fine. I didn't know you were back. I would have come sooner. It's okay. So where is it? Where is what? The assignment you need me to help you with. Why do you think I have an assignment for you to help me with? Because I'm used to the pattern. It's only when you need my help for school stuff. That's when you come here. You seem to like us fighting, right? Why would I like that? Why do you always annoy me? Oh, is it because I turned down the request of me coming to pass the night at your place? No. You are the one who seems to have changed. Listen, Martins. I'm a virgin, and I want to remain that way till my wedding night. And I don't want to tempt you by sleeping next to you all night. Look, you will. We must not do anything. All I just want to do with you is just cuddle. It's easier said than done. Thanks for the ride, okay? I'll talk to you later. Not so fast. Look, I still don't like the vibe I'm getting from you. Flex, we are cool, okay? I just need some time to be myself again around you, that's all. And, um, there's something I need to ask you. It's about Ariel. What about her? I have a feeling that she's not being truthful with my friend. And Martins is just too in love to believe without any concrete evidence. What are you asking me? Is Uriel using my friend? Because it's what most girls do on campus. Listen, how about you just allow them sort this, let them sort themselves out? That does not answer my question. Listen, Cassie. it is okay for one person to be more in love with the other in a relationship, okay? It just takes time, and that other partner will realize and appreciate the love more and learn to love, okay? Just allow them. I love you. Bye. I love you. Cassandra, there's trouble. What happened? Gina reported Uriel to the Yulu sisters. What? See, that's not even the worst part. I've been assigned to deal with Uriel and make her apologize to Gina. <clears throat> Wait, Gina is a member of the Yolo sisters? Yes, she is. Call Gina, now. I came here out of courtesy to a fellow sister. I vowed never to step foot here again. Thank you for the courtesy. I really appreciate it. What's up? You reported Uriel to the Yolo sisters? <laughs> All I did was help that stupid spoiled brat. And then what did she do? She had the guts to fight and insult me. We are sorry on behalf of Uriel. Mm -hmm. But come on, she's your friend. Did you have to go that far? <laughs> Uriel needs to be taught a lesson. See, I have been assigned by Godmother to deal with Uriel. You know I can't do that. Uriel is my friend. Go and explain yourself to Godmother. I'm sure you know the consequences of betraying your own sisters. Come. Excuse me.
See, I'm not apologizing to anyone. No. Besides, she slapped me first. Listen, nobody cares who slapped who first. Swallow your pride and apologize to Gina. I don't want any apology. You don't understand, Uriel. See, you have to apologize to Gina either peacefully or forcefully. Are you okay? So you forced me to do that or what? Yes. I wouldn't want to, but I will if you leave me no choice. <laughs> See, people should just free me. Oh my god. So I came as soon as I heard. Gina told me your friend has apologized. And she has decided to forgive her. Really? Um, yes. She came crawling and crying this morning in my hostel, so I decided to let it go. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to do anything anymore. We have to call up the mission. Okay. Okay. Uriel did not come to apologize. I know. Cassandra and I even tried to convince her this morning. But she was adamant. Listen, I did this because of you. I just figured out there should be another way to punish her without making you suffer. You're still going to punish her? Yes, I will. But don't worry. This time, you won't be involved. Come in. Hi. Yeah. I told you I didn't have proof that you really just using you and two timing you. Well, I lied. Which one is a lie now? That you have proof or that you don't? Press play. Are you pregnant, Cyril? Yes. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, so is it Martin's? Don't be ridiculous. 